Evening folks, Nick DeForster here. Uh doing back out in the shop tonight doing a couple things. Um I guess first first order of business is got my T twenty seven. So you know from one of the last videos, uh was missing one of these, got one now, so that's what I'm working on tonight. Um I am working on the steel 044. I actually just went outside the Put some degreaser on it, scraped it down a little bit, cleaned it up just a little bit, at least on the outside. Um, it ain't a whole lot better than it was, but it, once I get down to the cases, that's when I'll really, really be able to scrub on it. Um, did take a bunch of crap off of it. I mean, a ton, ton of uh, daggum grease and old uh, resin and all kinds of stuff come off this sucker. So, uh, yeah, now I'm about just to pull it apart. So, uh, I'm not going to film pulling this stuff back off. See, I've seen that before. But when I get down to the cylinder, then uh, I'll bring y'all back. So, I will see y'all in just a little bit. All right, folks, we're back down to the cylinder. So, I'm going to flip it back around. Got to pull this little ring back out of here. To grab my head. So like I said, I ain't worried about this boot. We get got another one on the way. There we go. And down in there. Then we get it out. it out of there. See that it is. There's a bolt head out. It was right there. But we can wear that later. Alright. Pull this cylinder off. So I just loosened them. So it was fairly tight on there. Curious to see if I can pull it off without uh pulling the handle off. I guess I could go ahead since we're going to pull this thing all the way down. Like I said, I believe this is a 12 millimeter by the case design. Being that it's a straight fan. It popped on out of there. There we go. Just one. But we're about to find out. Like I said, I'm pretty positive it's just a 12 millimeter. Which ain't nothing wrong with. They dang good soles. Like I said, I've been wanting one of these. So, if I opportunity to get one. Still attached. I got this one all the way out, but I reckon I have not. That should be it. bolts down in there. Man. Oh, poor dog. Why don't you want to come out of there? I don't know if our bottom end was locked up at all. I'm wondering if it was the top end. Is 
Just take this handle off. So we can get more leverage on it. I think this top end's tight. It's odd. Bottom's tight, too, that much. Is that about a T27 and a uh, impact at the whole Harbor Fraud? Would have much preferred that. But it's what I found at the time, so this is what we're going to use. Man, that one's tight. Come on, get a few threads out. It should loosen up. Go. Uh, the parts for this, I believe, is going to be in here this week. Today's Wednesday, I believe, that said it was going to be here. Uh, I think tomorrow, it said it was going to be in here. So, yeah, I definitely got to place these mounts here. so hot. They're absolutely shot. Our bottom end's tight at all. It's just piston. For whatever reason. Drop one down in here. Let me grab it real quick. Cylinder looks fine. Is a true steel cylinder. Blue actually looks fine. Gotta get that one nut out of there. Fill in it. One bolt. down in the bottom end and help it. There it is. Our bottom end's actually smooth. Piston's tight, rod's tight. Well, I'll say that. Get a little growly right there. Got a bunch of scale up here on the top of the piston. That's definitely, well, no, that's the. That'd be the coal catching right there. I don't know, 
rod is a little loose. My rod's definitely a little loose, but I'll try to pull this piston pin out. Let's see if I can clean it up just a touch. This piston looks like crap up top. Clips, it looks to be. If I can get in there with a pick. Definitely did not want to do nothing with that pick. Let's see if I can get this out. Try to add that much compression with uh, look how nasty this thing is up top. I'm trying to get this ring or circlip to slide on around. She's moving. Good way to get these things out. Bending my hangle pick. Right. I ain't supposed to get this devil out of here. Go for it. I'll use this. Man, this stuff here is tough to get out of there. Get another. Try and get that other pick in behind it.
with this dead gum disc up. Oh, no. Popped right back out. Popped on out. Let me send that pan back to that side a little bit. Definitely looks like a 12 millimeter. What I can tell. What I can tell. I might stab myself in the finger here. I heard it fly over there. At least we got it out. Hard to fly back at that right here. Got it right there. Got lucky. All right, let's see if we can send this pin out. Yeah, they do not. Not give you much room here. They do not. Guess I could take this guy off, but I really don't want to. And this this thing is dirty on the top. That's it. That will that will be you're using this piston. I'm trying to get the pin out. to go that way does it have to go out the exhaust side that is a one-way pin that is that's okay just need to be able to get it out of there yeah this side ain't moving at all to that other side. Yeah, I can't get no moment out of this one. Man, this thing's rough. This thing is rough, let me tell you. I'm trying to work on this piston here. Trying to get this piston out so I can really assess it. Trying to really get down on that. Really can't get much on that pan. nothing on that pan without taking that keeper out. Yeah, I'm only getting one side of this to even remotely move. I 
guess he used for these? I don't know. Are my picks just this small? Too small for it? I ain't never run into this issue. With any Huskies, at least. Issues like this with any of my husbands. Trying to get this pan out. That sucker does not want to go nowhere. It's acting like it is seized off in there. Which ain't ain't too good. We'll just keep working trying to get this pin out. Maybe we can get it out. I just can't seem to get the other side of this blush card to move. Just the slightest little bit. I'm done. I'm bending up my pick. Hmm. I should have more of these thicker picks. Yeah, you got to you got to get that side to move. Tell you that much. I want to go bend and break this one. Hmm. Let's see. Got a handful of others over here. Some of them I ain't even took out yet. Just bending that one out too. See these pigs are just too darn soft. Be perfectly honest with you. That's what I do believe. Yeah, and I just cannot seem to get this guy to out of here. I if I can pop it on around a little bit. Moving. 
more and get move this thing around better. I've never had pins this bad. I'm gonna pause y'all while I try to get this other, uh, sorry, circlip. I ain't never had a circlip this bad. I'll pause y'all while I try to get the sucker out. Hey folks, we're back. That took a lot of human and hauling and honestly beat the hell out of it to get it out of there. It's tight off in this bore, but it is a 12 millimeter. It'll be all thin, thin, uh, Pen. Let me tell you that it is showing up a thin pen. Let's see if I got a. Uh, I have some more pistons. That stuff off in here. I got some pistons somewhere. I can't remember what I did with them. Uh, anyways, but oh, here's a here's a husky with husky uh pen in it. Just push it out some. Gotta see how thin little video that guy is compared to that. Look at a hunk of lead and the husky. Well, I get this technically farmer tag, but look how heavy a pin that is compared to that little bit old lightweight guy. Little bit old thin guy. But yep, yeah, it's definitely a 12 millimeter. Um. Something's going on. Just gonna, I want to finish beating this thing out. To be honest with you. There we go. It appears that the wrist pan seized. Evident. I don't know if y'all see that. See the barking on it where it seized. I believe that was most of the issue. Along with, I think this piston is real tight off in this bore. Where's our, go to the intake side. I mean, real tight or caddy whoppers or something. Yeah, it doesn't even want to, wants no part of this. Yeah, once it gets up to the rings, they don't want no part of it. And them rings is fully uh, seated off in there. So I don't know what happened to this thing. Was it a piston deformed? Or somebody threw the wrong piston off in this guy. But the cylinder looks amazing. Like, for real, it looks perfectly fine. No scoring, nothing like that. But I don't like this piston in this thing so we're going to try to find another piston for it but cylinder's good i ain't got an issue with that i can clean that up looks like it's got good transfers it's definitely just a good old 12 millimeter straight fan 044 that's what it is um i said i'm gonna save this little bitty old pan curious what the weight difference is versus like this husky one. Push it out. Man, this thing gonna be tight in anything. Oh yeah, this thing's light compared to this husky one. That's a that's a lot of weight you're carrying around on the top top end of that rod, I mean. That's highly comparable. Would have to be trimmed down a little bit. Looking to have it right there. You see it'd have to be trimmed down a little bit to work in a husky, but but I do believe it would. It's just 
is tight. Real freaking tight. Tight, tight conches. But I also have to clean it up. But we ain't going to use that piston in this cylinder. We'll find a new old stock or something else. Um, other than that, I mean, it's loose. Got a little bit of noise in this one spot. I believe it's, I took the clutch off because the clutch was grabbing. I mean, big end on the rod, it's good, it ain't got hardly any play in it. I think that's, let me pull this coal off. I think this coal is set too tight. I think it's actually dragging on it. Oh, I said that, if I can get it off. Oh, my mercy, somebody had that tight. Oh, let me move that first. Oh, and somebody done tightened the fire out of this guy. I do like about every daggum bolt in this sucker is the same one. That's, uh, that's interesting still that y'all went like that. I mean, they're damn close. Every single one of them. Right, so you come off of there. Just want to see if you're a part of our issue. And let's just turn you like that. Sound like it was rubbing against it. Oh, yeah. I believe the coal was rubbing just slightly, because listen now. But I've already got a new uh, new crank, new bearings coming for it. Yeah, I still got a little. Little hooey right there. But, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, other than having some junk off in the bearings. one bearing that's a little little hooey in it but uh, seriously that's not bad and I mean I'll show you the cylinder Let's see I don't know what I done did with my flashlight it's around here somewhere but you can take my word for oh, well here you go hope y'all be able to see that but she pretty darn clean off in there. I mean, it's still, I still can see cross hatching in it. Plating looks perfect. It is a non decomp saw. It was a 327 7 728B. That's what it's got on it here. Let's see if there's anything else. Got stamped steel. Anything else for a note on it? Don't see anything. 
Unless it's covered up with something. Yeah, I ain't seeing much of nothing. See a boss where I what's called cook up. Yep, still 1128B. Looks like that appears to be a B. Let's see about our piss. Still. I really can't tell what that is. So, 327. Two, three, eight, no, hold on, reading it backwards. Seven, three, eight, two, or two, eight, eight, six? I don't know. I can't really tell on a piston the way they have it. But. Definitely. Very tight. I said the daggum rings are stuck in it. I thought it had compression, but no, it was just a piston being that tight on off in the bore. Now, let me show you real quick. And we'll end this video, but I mean rings aren't rings are fully stuck. I mean there it there's nothing there, and it is just. So tight up in the cylinder. I've never seen anything that tight that wasn't just truly seized. Unless this is truly the wrong piston. If somebody stuck the wrong piston up in here. I don't know how they did it. It doesn't appear to be. But sure enough, hits that ring, and that is it. So I'm going to do some more research probably real quick and see what I can find out. And I'm probably just going to leave it down like it is. Um, we'll see about replacing this uh, impulse line. i so say I got to do a whole lot more cleaning. Um, like a whole lot more. I may just take this out and uh, pressure wash it. And... Uh, I just have to wait and see when my puller pulls. Uh, I got a flywheel puller coming and we'll be able to get that clutch off. Then I said I got a puller uh, case splitter coming and new bearings, new crank. I'm gonna have to order up a piston, so but it'll be a little while. Before we get this thing fully ready to go for that, I guess I need to just pull this handle off. That way I can clean the rest of this junk. But, uh, no, I mean, I believe the piston was the main issue. Main piston, the pin being seized. I mean, it's, it's not great. It's a little rough right right at the bottom. It's got a little bit of grabbiness. But not as bad as I've seen others. But it's definitely not great. So we're going to pull it. Like I said, split the case. And just do it upright. Put a new crank in it. New bangs, new seals. Uh, new piston. Probably clean up the cylinder. Uh, probably gonna leave sock timing numbers on it. Probably gonna put a base gasket back in it And it's just gonna be a good solid runner for us We'll save this little lightweight pin. I may even cut it down Clean it up and use it in a husky one day Never know. I think it I think it'll come around Let's see Just for A quick quick test see if this how this thing will clean up. Oh yeah, it's gonna clean up fine. That's just some red Scotch Bright. That's what I like to use. Um, I 
had to order this stuff, but we can definitely get this thing to clean up. Yeah, that, that wrist pin, or that wrist pin bearing, show sure enough. She was locked up. It's not really scoring off in there, it's just build up of junk in between it. So yeah, we're definitely gonna need a piston for this thing. I mean, the piston doesn't look bad, intake or exhaust side. But the top, I mean, I don't know what oil they're running, but it's some nasty old stuff. So, I'm probably going to call it an evening on this one. But, uh, like I said, I got, just got to wait for my stuff to come in. Some of it's supposed to be here tomorrow, Friday, Saturday. Going out of town Saturday. Uh, yeah, about all this is already gone. Yeah, we'll be able to save this pen and put it in something else. That would be cool. Um, so I won't get a chance to work back till probably Sunday. Maybe Sunday night I'll get some chance to. Um, and uh, we'll at least try to get it. If my splitter comes in, we'll at least try to get split. And uh, we'll work from there. Also, y'all seen I got the crank for the 1100. Well, I'm still waiting on, got to wait on the splitter to get into it. But that'll be our next one after this one. We'll try to get this one knocked out. Oh, I did order a piston and cylinder for the 1100. Uh, so it is 56 millimeter. It is an aftermarket piston and cylinder. Couldn't find a OEM nowhere. Um, so, actually, no. Some of that is some scoring. So, that's too hot. Um... So yeah, uh, it's gonna be aftermarket. I am gonna time that cylinder and uh, we're gonna match. I'm not gonna really pour it much. I may give it a couple more degrees of intake, a couple more degrees of exhaust, but I at least wanna match up the OEM cylinder to the aftermarket. I wanna get them at least on the same level uh, as far as uh, port timing to start with and then I may adjust the aftermarket and just save the OE stuff, so. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Sorry it wasn't a whole lot of good, but we did see that was the wrist pin bearing and uh, it was hitting the cool a little bit. But I hope y'all liked it. If you want to, uh, if you don't mind, give us a like. If you'd like to see more, uh, please hit that thumbs up or hit that subscribe button and we'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks y'all.